Welcome everyone to In The Box Seat on the SA Sports Show, Channel 44. We're here to talk greyhounds again. It's a very exciting time as far as the greyhound world in Australia is, or the greyhound world is concerned. We've got the best dogs in the world and we've got the best of the sprinters and the best of the stayers down in Tassie next Saturday night. So it's a twilight meeting on the 25th to decide the, the best sprinter and the best stayer in uh, Australia and perhaps even the world. It's a terrific uh, fuel for both. We've got uh, Fabregas, who's one of the star greyhounds in Victoria. He's going down there and uh, he's up against a dog called Exclusive One. He's won nine in a row and broken the track record at Bull Eye. And of course, you've got Glenn Gallen and other champions in the sprint. Uh, South Australia, represented by Aston Thomas. And then in the stayers, you've got the, the mighty bitch Miata, who broke the track record for the 5.99 in a trial there last week. And she's up against the best stayers from each of the states of Australia. And we've got Abdon Bale, a dog that's come a long, long way in a short time. And uh, he'll certainly represent South Australia well in the final. Uh, but he's up against one of the best ever. Uh, you know, perhaps uh, along with Zoom Top and a, a few of the other champions like Bunyip Bint and uh, Liz Reen, etc., uh, this dog Miata is probably as good a stay as we've seen for a, a long, long time anywhere. But Abdon Bale, he's, uh, he's probably entitled to be called the best stayer in South Australia, considering he knocked over Calden Mayhem and after giving him a start at uh, their last clash. Of course, we've got uh, plenty happening around Australia uh, this weekend. Uh, we've got the Townsville Cup on. Now we've got uh, the, both of those uh, races in Tassie on the Saturday. And here on Wednesday, we've got the preludes to the Coffex uh, Coffee SA Oaks. And dogs can qualify for the Group 3 event by running first or second uh, in the preludes here on Wednesday. And it's brought together some nice greyhounds as well. The Honeys have been trying to pick a winner, of course. And uh, as usual, when there are standouts, we tend to pick the same greyhounds. It's happened again this week. The Honeys have said in race two on uh, Wednesday, number seven, Lecture Train. I've been on this dog's case lately too, and I think he's very well graded on Wednesday. A uh, good run on sort of a dog, and I think he's uh, well and truly up to Wednesday company. And in race six, I've gone for number eight, Diner Align, which has created a terrific uh, record since going to the middle and longer distances. Uh, very smart greyhound, likes to rail, and uh, they think it's a good thing on uh, Wednesday. As far as Thursday is concerned, race five, number two, Rush Hour. Bruce the Bachelor uh, Lelman has done a mighty job with this dog. It was legless uh, until he got it, but he's turned it around and it's now a respectable and strong performer. And uh, the Honeys think it can win on uh, Thursday night. And race eight, number four, Aston Carmelita uh, goes over the 600 and has been very impressive in the few runs it's had in South Australia. Early in the piece when it was up in Queensland and later in Melbourne, they thought it was a potential star, but it lost its way a bit. But once again, the Murrays have been able to rejuvenate this greyhound and get it back to something like its very best. As far as the in-the-box seat selections are concerned, uh, race seven, number two, the boys have gone for 0.2 over. The old greybeard, he's over four. As I mentioned last week, he's going blind. He's got uh, a disease of the eyes that they have to treat with eye drops just to, so he can see. And uh, his recent racing has been terrific. And it's a pity they won't let him race with those eye drops because uh, they have to chop them out a couple of days before the race to avoid a positive swab. Something that should be corrected, in my opinion. Now, as far as the dogs to watch, on Wednesday, race two, number seven, Lecture Train. There, that's my first special for the week. Event three on Wednesday, number four, Streaky Bay. This is the dog that's owned by the, the population of Streaky Bay, and he's been unlucky lately. I think he's due to uh, crack it. On Thursday night, race two, number two, Western Heart. I think he's overdue for a win for Peter Ivanovich. And uh, later, race eight, number four, Aston Carmelita. We've got the pleasure of talking with Lisa Rasmussen, the trainer of the star stayer Abdon Bale on Channel 44 right after this. Well, South Australia is represented in the uh, National Distance Championship by Abdon Bale, a greyhound trained by Lisa Rasmussen, who's with us on Channel 44 right now. Great thrill, Lisa. Oh, it's very, very exciting for us. Mm. Now, this dog came to South Australia as an unknown. He was uh, down on form, and uh, there was something to like, I think, about his second run, or it might have been his first run, but no one predicted he'd end up improving the way he has. No, just with every start, he's improved and improved and improved. And, and in saying that, he's only just turned two in May, so we were expecting a bit of improvement, but he's certainly outstanding what he's done for us so far. Mm. So what do you think has been the, the answer? 
Um, just natural mat- maturity, I think. Mm. Um, he came over, he's, he's a bit of a barker, a mm. um, bit of a rat bag in the kennels, and um, he's, he's gradually settled down a lot, and we've tried a few different things with him, and and I think that's probably the only reason we got him is because of his rat bag status, mm. but... Um, and he's just, you know, we've, you know, keep him busy, keep him occupied and, and keep him running and, and he's happy. Mm. You uh, personally having the best run you've had for years. Uh, you went about six or eight months ago, there was a bit of a streak where you had no luck and suddenly things have turned around. What's been the answer there? Um, I think we, it just depends on what dogs you do get come mm. into your kennels for sure. Um, we were lucky with the last lot we got and um, we did get quite a lot more than what we thought at the time. But... Um, out of those ones popped in ones like Abdon Bale and Karcha Bale and Donner you know, Line. Yeah, uh, no, Donner Line's Matt Cotts. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I get mixed up. That's mm. all right. No, and um, little ones like Betsy Allen, who's in tonight. I mean, mm. she's she'll be a, a bit of a good stayer later on as well. Is it true though that you uh, were a bit more selective? You told them that you really wanted to believe in the dogs that you got. Oh, not necessarily. Um, you don't sort of have any choice in what you do get. So mm. it's I've always said getting dogs off wheeler is, is like Christmas. It's mm. you, you can't sort of give them back if you don't mm. like them. Um, but no, it's it's in saying that you you take the good with the bad and yeah, it's just just the way it, you know, whatever comes out the trailer is what you get. Well, you're having a, a terrific year. What do you think about Abdon Bale? Uh, he's trialling uh, on Tuesday night. So when this goes to air, he'll, you'll probably know how he's gone. He looks as though he'll be suited by the big track. Yeah, I think so too. He won his maiden at Horsham, which has got very long straights as mm. well. So um, he has he has seen the one-turn tracks before. So the trial tomorrow night will help him. And, um, yeah, just to be in the same race as Miata is, is just, you know, sensational for us. And actually we've got two friends coming over with us and, and Rob said to us, you know, I'm going to watch Miata run, not your dog. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, but that's, you know, <laughs> the, I, I can see where they're coming from because she's mm. just a sensational bitch. Well, it'll be a great experience. One final question. We, we always have a, bit of, have a bit of fun with the, uh, the guests on the program, but your husband is a real character, a real lively, uh, loves life. And he's been known to pinch on the backside from time to time. Do you have to keep the eyes on the back of your head when you win a race? Um, yeah, I do, especially some are in his name and some are in, in mine. And um, like at Strath last night, he had three winners and I didn't have any. And well, yeah, he certainly, he certainly gave it to me, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. And good luck, you're representing South Australia. We'd love you to be up there and give me out a nudge on Saturday night. Oh, it'd be sensational if he does. Mm. Lisa Rasmussen, thank you, Lisa. And, uh, of course, for all of your Greyhound information, uh, just simply go to grsa.com.au and follow the prompts or simply stay on Channel 44 each week and catch up with the very best in Greyhound racing.